Jim from BNY Mellon Investment Management outlines three top sectors that he likes at the moment, including UK water, European utilities, and US real estate. I'd say there are three areas in the market that we're pretty excited about uh, right now. Uh, the first is uh, UK water. Uh, UK water is a fantastic industry. The industry was privatized by Margaret Thatcher back in the late 80s, uh, 17 natural monopolies delivering the most precious resource in the world. Very good industry. Um, for the first, I'd say, probably six and a half years we were running the fund, uh, these assets were all priced that way. They were very expensive, and the market really fully acknowledged their, uh, their value to, the, to, to society. Uh, over the last six months, we finally got an opportunity to invest in some of these uh, names. And what's happened over the last six months is the market has become concerned with three things. Uh, the market's concerned with rising interest rates. People generally don't want to own water utilities um, in a rising interest rate environment. Um, the market has also been concerned uh, more, more recently with some rhetoric coming out of the, uh, the Labor Party in the UK. Um, and thirdly, the market has become concerned with uh, a regulatory review that they're going through. Utilities go through regulatory reviews all the time. Uh, so this is nothing new. Uh, but the market has become concerned in their ability to re-earn the returns that they had earned historically. I spent uh, some time over in the UK in February, uh, met with management teams of both the companies that we invest in, also, I had an opportunity to sit down with um, the, the UK water regulator to understand what types of behavior uh, they're trying to incentivize in these companies. And came away very confident that um, there's a, a great deal of value in this space that's, um, I believe, pretty well underappreciated uh, right now. So that's where we're probably most enthusiastic today. Um, so that's one space. Um, the other space is European utilities. European utilities. Having been at the firm for essentially my whole career, going on 20 years, um, I've been following European utilities for a good deal of that time. And for the first 18 years, it was pretty boring meetings you'd be having with these European utility companies. Uh, they didn't have a lot of corporate governance. These, these company managements weren't aligned with shareholders. Um, that's all changed over the last two years. These companies are starting to break up and recognize some of the value, um, uh, some of the value opportunities they have within their um, within their portfolios. Um, these companies are breaking up and they're remerging with some of the other pieces. A lot of the chess pieces are moving around a lot within Europe right now, and that's really unlocking a lot of value in that space. Um, and we've been pretty enthusiastic about that space for the last two years, and we're still pretty overweight uh, that group today. And the third area that we're um, that we're actively um, interested in today is uh, U.S. real estate. Um, over the last six, seven months, the market has become concerned with uh, rising interest rates, and that's created a, a good deal of opportunities within the U.S. real estate, uh, real estate space, um, specifically in healthcare real estate. If you look at the aging demographic of the baby boomers, that's something that we see down here in Australia. We certainly see it back home in the States. Um, as the baby boomers are continuing to age, that's creating a tremendous amount of demand for, uh, for infrastructure to support the, the, this demographic change. Um, and in the states, a lot of that infrastructure is being built in the um, out of the healthcare uh, REIT space, and so we're finding a lot of good opportunities with good growth and very attractive dividend yields. Um, and some dislocation in the market more recently has presented some uh, pretty decent and attractive opportunities for us. So I'd say those are the three areas where we're most excited uh, right now in the space. Any advice in this video is general advice prepared by Morningstar without reference to your financial objectives, situation or needs. You should consider the advice in light of these matters and any relevant product disclosure statement before making any decision to invest.